if you have been paying attention to the news, you probably heard about uh, the chairwoman of uh, the Venting Fat Group. Her name is Miss Chung Mai Lan. All right, she stole twelve point five billion dollars from the bank SCB, and the police did the investigation. They finally issued the conclusion of that investigation, and now we know exactly how she stole that money. And today we're going to talk about exactly how she did it. I'm going to share that with you. Let's get into it. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. So this is probably one of the biggest uh, financial scandal in Vietnam since the beginning of our socialist republic. And uh, basically, Miss Chung uh, Mai Lan who is the chairwoman of the Ventin Fat Group, uh, she stole $12.5 billion. Billion dollars, that's many, many T, the many, many billions of, of Vietnamese dong. Uh, probably like a lot, I can't, I can't do the math, but uh, she stole a lot of money from the bank. And exactly how did she do it? Well, let me share with you uh, what the police investigation found, all right? So her plan to rob the Vietnamese people started in 2011, you see, back in 2011, she already had a plan to purchase three banks here in Vietnam, and they are the Saigon Commercial Bank and two other banks, all right? She bought these three banks, but not under her name, because in Vietnam, you cannot be a majority shareholder of any bank. Apparently, any individual cannot own more than 5% of the bank. So what she did is she got family members and friends, she got a lot of people to uh, buy shares of the bank and in effect she owned more than 90% of those banks and in 2012 she merged those three banks into one bank and that bank is called SCB. You probably know about that bank because that bank has branches everywhere, alright? After that's done, basically SCB Bank became Miss Chu Milan's personal ATM machine, all right? Whenever she wanted money, she can basically just get money out of the bank. And how does she do it? Of course, in Vietnam, we also have a lot of financial regulations and rules. You cannot just go to the bank and get money out of the bank. If you want to apply for a loan, there are many rules and regulations around that. You gotta provide enough collaterals to get the money uh, out of the bank, right? So, Ms. Trumi Lan, got thousands of people to create thousands of companies. These are ghost companies, these are fake companies that operate under the Van Tin Fat Group. And these fake companies would create these fake loan applications, fake loan applications with maybe sometimes fake collaterals, fake properties, or even uh, they use properties and they declare very high value, but they're actually very low value. They use these properties as collaterals to borrow uh, money from the bank. And they have thousands of companies, thousands of people engaged in this fraud. And uh, so they will apply for a loan. And because Ms. Chumi Lan owned the bank and she has control over the bank, she, has, she owns basically more than 90% of the shares um, in SCB, you know, of course, the shares are owned by many, many, many people, but together they actually control by uh, by Ms. Chumi Lan. And Ms. Chumi Lan will pay them very well, sometimes uh, between 200 million dong to 500 million dong in monthly salary, so they would obey uh, Ms. Chumi Lan. So all these people that own the banks, uh, they report to Chumi Lan, they will do whatever Ms. Chumi Lan asks, and when Ms. Chumi Lan want money, they would approve the loan. So they have, they have, they have thousands of companies, thousands of people applying for these loans, and when, when these loans are approved, they're deposited it into other bank accounts, and then the money is withdrawn, right? They actually take the cash out. They take the cash money out, and Ms. 
Chumi Lan's driver would go to the bank and get the money, get the cash and put in the car and drive either to uh, uh, the uh, Ben Fat uh, Group uh, headquarter or her private home. And that's where they would unload the cash. So th this has been happening since 2012 to 2022. So over the 10 year period, Ms. Chumi Lan actually withdrawn about $44 billion worth of money. And just to give you an idea how much Vietnamese down that is, it is one quadrillion, okay? Quadrillion uh, Vietnamese down. That's like billion, trillion, and quadrillion. That is a lot of money, all right? So she got all this money from the bank by using fake loan applications. And all this money come from Vietnamese people. The Vietnamese people go to SCB thinking it's a good bank and they put the money in the bank, they put their life savings in the bank, they put their cash in the bank and unfortunately Ms. Chung, Mi, Lan used the uh, bank as her private ATM so she just withdraw whatever money she wants and uh, basically the amount she was drawn equals to 91% of all money deposited at SCB. So this is a really huge scandal. It's a huge scam, huge fraud. And in fact, uh, after all the uh, financial calculations done, it is determined that uh, Ms. Shumilan uh, basically owed the bank about $12.53 billion or about, I don't know, a lot of billions of dong, right? Probably hundreds, hundreds of thousands of billions of dong, right? And that's a lot of money. And that money all come from the innocent Vietnamese depositors thinking that SCB is a good bank. They put their money there and now the bank cannot pay them back. The bank doesn't have enough money to pay the depositor back because Ms. Chumilan took all the money. Now the question is why would she do it? Uh, of course, she used all those money to invest into her property project, into her real estate projects, probably for her personal benefit. It is really, in a sense, unbelievable that she would do this because, you know, how would she not realize she would get caught? Because it is a matter of time this would come out, this would be discovered. And in fact, uh, Ms. Chumilan did a good job in, in hiding all the facts because Banks do get inspections from the State Bank of Vietnam and apparently she also bribed, bribed government officials so that they look the other way. They don't uh, report the actual truth about SCB. They would report everything's fine, everything's good. So the government officials, the State Bank doesn't know anything that's happening at SCB. Uh, so she did all these things to fool everybody and she got all this money to continue to expand her business and probably we don't know how she spent all that money but probably also for her personal benefit as well uh, but you know if you're gonna do something like this you're gonna get caught now this is why i do not recommend you to do anything illegal unethical or um, trying to rob the bank because you are gonna get caught there's just no way that you can get get away with this and I can't really understand uh, why Ms. Chun Milan would do this because in her mind she must realize she will be caught one day and, and it's just simply not worth it and now she's in prison who knows what will happen to her she's probably going to be in prison for a very long time alright so this is exactly how Ms. Chun Milan will steal about 12.5 billion dollars from the bank that she owns uh, SCB alright and uh, probably will make more videos uh, as more information come out of this case and uh, I just find it fascinating and unbelievable at the same time. Alright, take some fucking action. Don't ever rob a bank. That's stupid and don't be a fucktard.